Combining enthusiastic involvement, focused intensity, and a passion for standards, the men and women of the Chrysler Group continue on the WCM journey to bronze. While 2011 gears up to be an important year for Chrysler, many positives were recorded in 2010. This is WCM, and this is what we do. Well, first off, given where we were before WCM, you might occasionally see someone smile today, which was not the case one and a half to two years ago. That's a good thing to see at Chrysler. The first year of implementation of world-class manufacturing in Chrysler has been surprisingly speedy. We had better results than Fiat had in their first 12 months. And this is uh, because of the help we had from Fiat with people coming and bringing their experience in our plans, but also because of the attitude, the behavior, the open mind that our people had. With increased know-how and involvement in the safety pillar, manufacturing employees identified more than 57,000 unsafe conditions and almost 80,000 unsafe acts. This attention to detail contributed to major improvements as our first aid index improved by 25% versus 2009 and lost time injuries improved by an astonishing 40% versus last year. We started at step zero of WCM, so I've been around WCM since day one. It's been very interesting and uh, it's becoming very re rewarding, I think, as a plant um, because we've eliminated a lot of waste in the plant and um, a lot of injuries have been uh, reduced, which is great for the workers. I said that we were excited, but we're actually on fire for WCM. With cost deployment serving as the compass leading us in the right direction, our employees are focused on attacking waste and loss. For 2010, Chrysler Group Manufacturing surpassed its planned productivity improvement of 8% by achieving more than 9%. Structured approach to solving problems is just my methodology, my approach, and WCM helps us do that in a way that everyone can easily understand, easily apply it, and again, giving us fantastic results, which is what we're all here for. I like the fact that it's not just attacking certain areas, it attacks everything, including making the jobs better for the person on the line. Employees also contributed and participated in more than 56,000 Kaizans. These continuous improvement projects are having a positive result on our bottom line as more than $300 million in annualized savings have been recorded. Focused improvement tools, workshops, in-plant training sessions, best practice sharing, project creation, using quick, standard, major, and advanced Kaizans are all helping us make improvements within the WCM technical pillars. We understood that we need a better way to work and to be competitive. And that's what world-class manufacturing is giving us. Another tool utilized to make improvements throughout 2010 was the expanded use of tags. More than 300,000 tags were used to identify and correct abnormalities in safety, autonomous maintenance, workplace organization, and professional maintenance. Our skilled trades and our production employees are playing a, a huge role in our ability to move forward. Our skilled trades, uh, one, are key in, in driving the professional maintenance pillar, and we have skilled trades directly involved in that. But we also see them supporting very heavily the other teams in our plants, so that as these teams are working on Kaizen's, uh, again, working on quality improvements, working on workplace organization, the trades are part of those teams. So what it boils down to, if you take care of it, if you maintain it and clean it, it will run. And if it runs, and like I tell my group all the time, so long as it runs, that's job security. Two pillars that have made improvements in our plants that are easily seen by the human eye are workplace organization and logistics. While logistics focuses on stock reduction, balanced inventory levels, and just-in-time deliveries, workplace organization focuses on involving the operator, eliminating non-value-added activities, and improving ergonomics. Together, WO and LO teams are helping everything from safety, cost, and ergonomics to productivity, quality, and morale. 2010 welcomed the implementation of the Happy Seat, automated guided vehicles known as AGVs and lineside limos. The happy seat, based on a best practice from our Fiat counterparts and first implemented at our Belvedere, Illinois plant, has made its way to several other assembly facilities, including the Windsor assembly plant. Also achieved in 2010 was a successful launch of lineside limos. Lineside limos have helped reduce overstocking parts on the line and brought the material closer to the golden zone, which is an obvious advantage for our operators.
Another indicator showing improvement related to WCM is our quality measurement first-time capability. FTC improved by 13.2% compared to 2009. To further improve quality, metrology centers were implemented at Jefferson North, Brampton, and the Toluca assembly plant. All three plants involved with major launches achieved higher levels of quality on job one compared to those of the outgoing vehicles. If you looked at the cars, you look at the cars that we're building today, fit and finish is vastly improved. Uh, and that's really due to WCM and improved dimensional management techniques. Another area to highlight is people development. To start 2010, the manufacturing organization was issued a target of five suggestions per person. Employees accepted the challenge and submitted more than 230,000 suggestions or an average of 6.6 .6 per person. 66% or almost 150,000 of those suggestions were implemented. The active involvement of our employees did not go unnoticed as many received recognition for their contributions. A standardized reward system was also adopted as employees received recognition for suggestions, Kaizen savings, environmental improvements, and community involvement. We all get excited when we put in a suggestion and the company is actually listening to us. We want to do more for the company because we are being listened to. Environmentally, Chrysler has always been strong. Every plant audited in 2010 scored at least a 1 for the environment pillar. In fact, 9 plants scored a 2, and Gemma's 3 was the first 3 scored in any technical pillar. We are also seeing creative ideas implemented to support the environment. Plants like Toledo Assembly implemented the Greenopolis Dream Machine, which allows employees to participate and be rewarded for recycling. Likewise, the Warren Stamping Plant implemented an environmental awareness area complete with a tank housing live fish. Based on a Kaizen initiative, the tank uses recycled water that gives the fish a livable home, but also allows the plant to reuse 1.2 million gallons of water per year. WCM initiatives throughout 2010 help restore dignity in this house. 39 audits were completed with Gemma, Belvedere, and Windsor leading the way. The momentum continues in 2011 as 38 audits are planned. Quite simply stated, together in WCM, our future is bright. Most importantly, WCM is really the, the one method or the one methodology that we use to run our plants and drive improvements. The tools that are shown in the world-class manufacturing gives us the ability for improvement and it shows that when employees are involved, you can actually get results and that's the whole thing about this WCM. I predict, I predict Chrysler will be number one. Quality, performance, style, beauty, grace by Chrysler.